Prague. Um, it's about half past 11 here now and I just thought I'd give you a quick room tour before we settle down for the night. Um, we're here for the next two nights and then we're actually flying to Amsterdam from here as well. So we're going to do two nights here, two nights there and then we're back home on Saturday. So this is as soon as you come in through the front door. You've got the bathroom in there on the left. Ooh through the sliding drawers and then this is basically the main bit we are quite tired at the moment the plan was to kind of go out once we got here and get our bearings so i think i'll just leave it here for now and you can see what we get up to tomorrow instead good morning it's our first full day in prague today we've just got ready and it's about quarter to ten at the moment this one's a little bit hungry so we're just about to go out and get some breakfast we've wrapped it warm because we're going to be literally out all day because we've only got like half a day tomorrow so we're going to make the most of today um i'll just quickly show you what i'm wearing it's nothing special so i've just got on a plain long sleeve top it's the only warm layer i brought with me because i was expecting the weather to be better i've got some kind of like gray cord mum jeans on um these are from pull and bear and i've got my checkered vans and my big coat is from misguided so that should keep me cozy today we're doing lots of sightseeing today so i'll take you with us and you can see what we get up to <music> street that's what you can see like right behind us there where like people are waiting me and jess are just waiting for an uber to take us to a shoe store called foot shop that sell like really cool trainers and um, i found it on instagram and since this is jess's birthday trip he wanted to take a look at it My phone died earlier when we just got into foot shop, so I wasn't able to show you around. Since then, we've actually um, done a bit more sightseeing, haven't we? We went to the old Jewish cemetery, um, which is quite interesting. It's like mad to see in real life. I'd recommend anyone who's going to Prague to go and visit it if you like a bit of history. And now we're off in search of sweet treats. has been today i think it might have been a little bit scattered but it's been quite windy so i'm not sure if you've been able to hear me but basically what we just saw was us going and eating lots of food so we went to the good food coffee and bakery shop yes. and we had some chimneys i had a paris one which was like chocolate whipped cream and strawberries inside jesse had a really strange one called like the black devil or something the ice cream flavor was called activated carbon it was really strange and then we went to norbert's donuts and finally we ended up in captain handy where jess just bought his body weight in sweets um, i found all of those recommendations in ellie darby's prague vlog thought i'd try them out because i've got a really sweet tooth 
Norbert's was the best of all of them so far. We're just off to find Sephora now. <laughs> just had a cheeky nap once we finished sightseeing earlier today now we are rejuvenated and we're gonna go out for some dinner we're gonna go to the hard rock cafe which isn't actually too far away and i've never actually been to one before so i'm excited to see what it looks like i'll just show you my outfit quickly before we head out so i didn't bring anything too dressy with me on the trip anyway so this is probably about as much effort as you'll see from me all I've got on is just a plain white vest from ASOS. These mum jeans from Misguided, they're kind of like a nude stone colour. And then as you can see, my checkerboard slip-on vans to go with. We just had some dinner at the Hard Rock. Um, but it was quite loud in there, so I didn't feel much. We're just about to go to a place called Prague Golf and Games to play some black light golf. I think we're here. time to do anything in the morning except have breakfast so I'm just gonna do everything today this is the dancing house so after all that build up the bar and restaurant is shut so we can't actually go upstairs and get the view and it opens again tomorrow night but we're not here so there goes that one at three o'clock but we were so tired we just got on with a few bits um, and crashed out last night so I didn't vlog anything we've just left our hotel it's like half 11 and we're on our way to go and grab some breakfast even though it's a little bit late and we're going to Pluck which is like an Instagrammer's heaven hours later now we're heading to the lookout which I'm not sure if you can see too well but that's where we're headed at the very top of that tower there there's two little things on the right of that building and the swing that we'll be going on so we're just on the ferry to get over there now
Hello everyone, firstly thank you so much for even clicking on this video, let alone making it all the way to the end. I just wanted to kind of pop this in at the end to give the video a bit of context. I've been editing the vlog and it's not as smooth as I wanted it to be. It's definitely like Prague heavier so there's not as many clips from Amsterdam in it. I hope you enjoyed what you saw anyway. So the last thing you saw in Amsterdam was us after we'd done the Amsterdam swing. It was really good. Um, I screamed my head off the entire time. <laughs> but if I can do it, anyone can. Just to summarise what we did, it was Jesse's birthday at the end of September. And this trip was his surprise birthday present from me. So we did two nights in Prague and two nights in Amsterdam like I explained at the beginning of the video. It was my first time doing like a multi-city trip so I used Skyscanner to find the flights I wanted and then I went directly to the airline that had the best prices and booked through them to save even more and that was EasyJet. We flew with them for all three flights to Prague, to Amsterdam and then back home to Bristol. I used booking.com for the hotels and just paid when I got there. We paid for all the attractions and things that we did when we were out there. We didn't buy anything in advance. It was my first time in Prague. We loved it. It was so nice to be somewhere new and see new things. However, I felt like we've done it all and I probably wouldn't feel the need to go back. Amsterdam I've already been to twice before and Jessie's been once before as well with me last year. I love how comfortable I am there. I know my way around quite well so um, I would definitely go back to Amsterdam. I would always go back. Prague is very cheap very inexpensive it was so affordable like we were getting 20 minute ubers and it was costing me like 12 pounds um and you know in the uk it's like double that amsterdam's a little bit more expensive it's purely so touristy that they can get away with it to be honest definitely budget more if you're going to amsterdam me and jesse ended up having a lovely trip away i hope you enjoyed watching what i filmed of it as well and i guess this is the part where i tell you to like and subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me so so uh, please do that let me know if you've got any suggestions or what you'd like to see if you want some advice on either of the places I went to then just feel free to drop me a little DM on Instagram I will leave that below for you thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video